Namaste, my dear students. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, today, let us uh, begin with our uh, next uh, chapter that is uh, under human physiology. So, human physiology, under that, uh, few chapters are there. In that, first one is the digestion chapter, digestion and absorption. That chapter is deleted for this year. So, I am moving to the next chapter that is chapter number 17 breathing and exchange of gases. So, the next uh, uh, chapter under this uh, is breathing and exchange of gases. So, breathing and exchange of gases. What is mean by breathing? Yen idu usirata kriya indre. Alva, namatra. Yen idu human respiratory system idu. Alva. So, what is the need of doing this respiration? What is respiration? And which are the different parts observed under human respiratory system? And mechanism of respiration? disorders etcetera etcetera. Idella kuda illi barvantaha important topics gagidi athava points gagannu now hello about. So, coming to this chapter what is mean by respiration? Yen idu respiration andre yata koskar nao respiration maadwe. Yen idu fashion ha respiration otherwise it is not needed. What is the need of this respiration? Simply we can say it is a exchange of gases. Respiration is the exchange of gases. So, another term we can write like this exchange of gases between our body and atmosphere. One the definition he gave the definition he the oxidation of nutrient, oxidation of nutrients and the Yen is the oxidation of nutrient, exchange of gases go that is. If respiration and then only the salt go there, alwa. Yen is carbon dioxide and water go there. Oxygen and that go there. So we are taking the oxygen into our lungs, into our body, and we are giving out the carbon dioxide. But uh, biologically, if you take the definition, what is this respiration? It is exchange of gaseous molecule. It is the oxidation of nutrients in the living cell to release the energy. So, oxidation of nutrient in the living cell to release the energy to release the energy. Energy and release mildly cause kara pratyondu cell gulu maadu vanta ha undu living cell gulu maadu vanta undu create that is what respiration. So, oxidation of nutrient in the presence of oxygen breakdown of nutrient result in the release of energy that energy is required for our day to day activity. For that purpose we are doing the respiration. So, respiration it is a biological process in the living system we can observe this process. Then breathing and exchange of gases. Now, coming to the breathing, it is the exchange of gases between our body and atmosphere where oxygen is going to be taken in and carbon dioxide is give, going to be given out. So, we can say like this exchange of oxygen from the atmosphere with the carbon dioxide produced by the cell. 
carbon dioxide produced by the cell is going to be exchanged with the oxygen with respect to atmosphere. Oxygen no paradu kondo carbon dioxide no hora karega bidwan tod. That is that that is what the respiration, the breathing. Biologically, what happens there? It is the oxidation of nutrient. It is the breakdown of nutrient result in the release of energy. That energy is required for the day-to-day -day activity. That is what respiration. Okay, my dear friends, here the respiration is one of the part of metabolism. So, in the metabolism, we know that two terminologies: anabolism and catabolism, isn't it? Anabolism and catabolism. Catabolism, and we know breakdown, breakdown of molecules, larger, bigger size molecule into simple type of molecules. That is what catabolism. So, for this catabolism, there should be oxygen. Requirement to the cell. So, in the metabolism, we can observe the production of chemical energy in the form of ATP. So, ATP formally ado store agute adenosine triphosphate, adenosine triphosphate formally ado store agute. So, storage of the energy released during the oxidation is in the form of energy currency molecule. Adenosine triphosphate. So, this energy molecule is produced. That is why we utilize it. So, we are utilizing that ATP molecule whenever, wherever it is necessary to our body in day-to-day -day activity. That is what uh, the importance of this uh, respiration. This is an introductory part. Now, I am going to entering to the respiratory organs of animals. You can have animal point of view. They know living cell and the living cell is alive. It is alive. Living cell is alive. Now coming to the animal point of view, if you take the respiration, what is that? Or different respiratory organs of animal kingdom, or under animal kingdom. Yeah, we have birth. Respiratory organs. So here, uh, coming to the animal point of view, lower invertebrate, lower invertebrates, lower invertebrates, <coughs> like uh, example to one. Sponges, sponges, how the birth of the animal? go to the animal kingdom, the peripheral, wa? sponges, then ciliaterates, and then hydra, jellyfish, etc. Then flatworm, 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 how the birth It is the platyhelminthus. Flatworm belongs to platyhelminthus. Uh, Cilian trata where we can observe jellyfish, hydra, etc. Sponges, of course, porifera member, uh, the phylum porifera, isn't it? So, here lower invertebrates like uh, these animals are going to have the, ex uh, the exchange of gaseous molecule through body surface. Through body surface, body surface mulaka diffusion on the So, from higher concentration to lower concentration region, there will be exchange of gaseous material and as a result of that we can observe the total uh, respiration phenomena in the case of lower invertebrate. Then coming to the example like uh, uh, earthworm, so slightly higher invertebrate, alwa, earthworm, leech, then coming to the point of our amphibians, amphibians, frog, the moist skin, 
moist skin will facilitate the exchange of gaseous material so respiration through skin nanu avatte am helidene alva in the previous one of the class respiration through skin it is called cutaneous respiration when we studied about uh, structural organization animal in that earthworm isn't it so cutaneous respiration so respiration through moist skin it is called cutaneous respiration where diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide will going to be happening then in the case of insect spider insects then spider centipede okay centipede then uh, millipede etc there comes a tracheal tube tracheal tube so tracheal tube anta structure formation agutte so nammal enide lungs ide trachea ide alva alli hage alla tracheal tube what the, what is the indication of this when we are coming from lower invertebrate to slightly higher invertebrate or vertebrate there will be modification in the case of respiratory system and going to give very complex structure when we are coming to the point of mammals including human being so adan thoristhe eno basic age enagutte namage gottide body surface mulak agutte nantra moist skin aite tracheal tube aite so one by one we can observe the development or modification in terms of their organ system here the respiratory system okay respiratory organ then the gills if you take a fish nam age bariva fish then some of the aquatic insect aquatic arthropoda that is gills gills are the major respiratory organ okay so gills are branchial respiration anthe helthivi gills adralli fish ide innond helabodu larva adanu helabodu tadpole larva tadpole larva of frog tadpole larva of frog is having the respiratory organ that is the gills okay then uh, coming to the vertebrates here the lungs we human beings we are with the lungs as uh, the major respiratory organ okay so this is what our uh, total aspects regarding with the different organs of uh, invertebrates vertebrates regarding with the respiration adu invertebrate irbodu vertebrate irbodu avugalalli kandu baruvantaha vividha reetiya respiratory organ gulu gothaitala so tracheal tube moist skin gills lungs okay yeah next uh, let us entering to our system ಈಗ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫಿಸಿಯಾಲಜಿಲಿ ನಾನು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಯಾವುದಿತ್ತು ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾಪ್ಷನ್ ಇತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಅದನ್ನು ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಇರುವ ಕಾರಣ ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಯಿತಲ್ವಾ ಓದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸೊ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇನೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಎನಾಟಮಿ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಎನಾಟಮಿ ಆಫ್ human respiratory system you are human respiratory system the gold one so if you take the next concept under this human respiratory system you know the chart on the other hand right the diagram he gets it now coming to the human respiratory system <coughs> the total human respiratory system is divided into two parts the first one and second the first one is called conducting zone ಅಥವಾ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಟರಿ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ 
second one it is respiratory zone it is lower respiratory tract so this is the classification sorry uh, the division of uh, human respiratory system conducting zone or it is called upper respiratory tract second one respiratory zone lower respiratory tract nan ig illi diagram ige bartene first ig brief age heli bidtini yen idu upper respiratory tract it is the conducting zone through which uh, the air we can say oxygen antre helu artha agukoskara so air is going to be given or conduction of the air will be there through this passage and which reaches into which reach to the respective lungs so idra mulaka nasal passage idra mulaka bandu pharynx daatkondu larynx daatkondu trachea da mulaka wind pipe mulaka adu enagutte lungs ge talapudu so it is called conducting zone it will con going to conduct the air into the respiratory system or it will going to give out the air from the respiratory system into outer atmosphere outer atmosphere in the air lungs ge barutte lungs in the air outer atmosphere ge hogutte that passage it is the conducting zone or upper respiratory tract then respiratory zone is the actual site of respiration means where exchange of gaseous material will going to happen between our body and the atmosphere idu illi tandu kodu bandadalva upper respiratory tract tandu kottu aadmele after giving that air how the exchange will be there that is happening in the lungs that is what lower respiratory tract or it is also called respiratory zone it is the zone it is the area where actually the ex <coughs> sorry exchange will going to be happening elli nijavagi exchange agutte that is what respiratory zone so now this is uh, the human respiratory system iga illige bandre idu iga nan helida prakara respiratory enu part in a conducting zone alva respiratory system in a conducting zone this is what this is the actual uh, lungs where the respiratory zone is present where the exchange of gaseous material will going to happen now coming to one by one part iga idralli first one conducting zone alva adan now study maadu so what is this uh, conducting zone idanalla varistane illa nimge alli focus agala i will write it from the top okay conducting zone iga now conducting zone anta kondre here which are the different parts so conducting zone it is for the passage or movement of air here we can observe movement of air from atmosphere to lungs atmosphere in the lungs ge air passage agutte air pass agutte so which are the parts observed in the conducting zone here we can observe like a nostril i will write here nasal passage pharynx larynx then uh, trachea and bronchi is there nostril 
nasal passage pharynx larynx trachea bronchi let us see one by one in brief nostril refers to opening of nose through which entry of air will be there from the atmosphere so nostril here through which entry of air alwa through which entry of air opening of the nose is called nostril through that opening the entry of air will be there and inner part of that one is the nasal passage nasal passage is present in the nasal region in the nose nasal passage the inner lining of the nasal passage is having mucus secreting glands and cilia so we can observe the ciliated structure and it is important for this uh, uh, <coughs> passage that uh, presence of mucus is very very much essential to trap the unwanted dust particle which may be there in the inhaled air so walagadege tegaluvantaha gaali enide air enide adralli enadru adralli enadru dust particle unwanted materials idre adannu trap maadi adannu hedidu ittukolli yakandre walagadege lungs ige hogbardu alva so to trap that one to block the entry of unwanted things which are which may be there in the inhaled air is done by this nasal passage and this nasal passage is divided into three portions three portions nu now helabodu so they are called uh, uh vestibular part respiratory part and olfactory part vestibular part and respiratory part and olfactory part as we all know that nose is responsible to find out the smell olfaction olfactory part responsible with respect to detection of smell okay so nasal passage and more age more portion age three portions age divide martare and uh, this nasal passage is having septa so in between two nostril eradu nostril ilva opening ilva ondu nose ge eradu nostril ide so we can observe the septa or uh, the wall between two nostril so that is also observed in the case of nose eradu ಏನು ಮೂಗಿನ ರಂಧ್ರಗಳ ನಡುವಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಡ್ಡ ಪರದೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಪ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ನೇಸಲ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ನೇಸಲ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೇಸಲ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆದ ನಂತರ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ pharynx if you take it is divided into and illi barithene pharynx if you take it is divided into three portions which are the three portions naso pharynx oro pharynx laryngo pharynx naso pharynx oro pharynx laryngo pharynx are the three portions of pharynx three portions of pharynx so any the naso pharynx i'm just mentioning matrally don't worry it is the part of pharynx the first part of the pharynx just behind the nose illi baruthe just behind the nose the naso pharynx and after that the oro pharynx oro pharynx is the pharynx portion just behind very next to the mouth so oral cavity mouth cavity oral okay just behind the mouth the oro pharynx is there and laryngo pharynx is the junction between pharynx and larynx pharynx matte larynx naduvalli baruvantaha edu a junction enide that is called laryngo pharynx the gantalu anta helthive allu na ottagi so pharynx it is the part of the human respiratory system and uh, here the oro pharynx and laryngo pharynx are oro pharynx and laryngo pharynx are common passage for fo- both food and air or water and air 
both food and air in the Adike passage agate. Yaudo Oro pharynx mate, laryngo pharynx. Naso pharynx, naso pharynx, nama mugina ne rake illiberate. Next to oro pharynx, next to laryngo pharynx. So, like that uh, it will be there. Okay. So, that is the pharynx. Next, other portions, uh, other uh, characters of this pharynx. It is a funnel shape, running first year than a division. Here. Now, coming to the character, major character. It is a funnel shaped structure. Funnel shaped structure about uh, uh, 13 centimeter length, I think. Yeah, 13 centimeter length and uh, 13 centimeter length then uh, it is having the voluntary action voluntary act of swallowing that helps in the voluntary action of swallowing now we got food and the whole thing mouth ali alwa jagite grinding martha grind out mele swallow martha what i gotta get a whole thing so the goal of it like pass away the law so it is a voluntary action of swallowing voluntary law it is controlled by our brain now numbu one to do a hard one no what i gotta get a goal one to do other what i gotta get ugulu one to do ಅದು ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ವಾಲಂಟರಿ ಬೇಕಿದ್ದು ತಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಬೇಡ ಇದ್ರೆ ಉಗುಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಭಾರತ ಆಗಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಾಲಂಟರಿ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ದ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಲಂಟರಿ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲಿಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ tissue the pharynx is made up of or with the skeletal muscle tissue so the voluntary action that is very important and funnel shaped structure 13 centimeter length okay voluntary action will be there so that is the pharynx portion then uh, <coughs> this uh, laryngo pharynx and oro pharynx is a common passage for food and air then in the junction between the last part of the pharynx it is a laryngo pharynx where pharynx will going to meet with the larynx alva alli enagutte in the larynx we can observe the bifurcation division of the passage one is for the wind it is the trachea another one is for the food it is the esophagus ಒಂದೇನು ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದೇನು ಫುಡ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಫುಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಈ ಸೋಫೇಗಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಆ್ಯರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಟು ದ ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಮಿಸ್ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಆ್ಯರು ಹೊಟ್ಟೆಗೆ ಹೋಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಫುಡ್ಡು ಲಂಗ್ಸಿಗೆ ಹೋಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಆಗ್ತದ ಆಗಬಾರ್ದು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಿಯಾದರೂ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗ್ಬೋದು ದೇರ್ ದ ಕಫಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ತಿನ್ನುವಾಗ ಅಥವಾ ಕುಡಿಯುವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಕಫ್ ಬಂದುಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಮ್ಮು ಬಂದುಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದ ಫುಡ್ ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಈ ಲ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸಿನ ಮೂಲಕ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೊರಗೆ ಹಾಕಲಿಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ one guardian of airways so it is called epiglottis nan idannalla varistene so guardian of airways it is called epiglottis yen id epiglottis andre in the larynx portion adannu kuda heli bidtini larynx we can observe the vocal cord vocal cord ಏನು ಧ್ವನಿ ಪೆಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸುಲಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಈ ವೋಕಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಟ್ಲೇಜ್ನೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಾರ್ಟ್ಲೇಜ್ನೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ಟ್ಲೇಜ್ನೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ epiglottis epiglottis is observed in the region of opening of the trachea trachea the opening is glottis anta helthi glottis 
एबव द ग्लूटिस हीगे हियर वि कैन आबसो वन स्पून शेप स्ट्रक्चर इनमें नम ट्रैक ओपनिंग उंटल अदान ब्लॉक सो हियर इन दैरिंग रीजन वि कैन आबसो द एपिग्लोटिस पोर्शन सो दिस गार्डियन आफ् आर्वे बिकॉज इट विल गोयिंग टू गार द पैसेज आफ् आर् गार्डियन आफ् आर् वे डब्ल्यू ए वै एस आर् वे सो हियर दिस ग्लोटिस इज द ओपनिंग आफ द लैरिंग सारी ओपनिंग आफ द ट्रैकिया ओपनिंग आफ द ट्रैकिया एंड अबव दैट ओपनिंग वि कैन आबसो मॉडिफाइड स्पून शेप स्ट्रक्चर आफ वन आफ द कार्टेज आफ द वोकल कॉर्ड एंड दैट विल गो इन टू ब्लॉक द पैसेज आफ द ट्रैकिया और विंड पाइप वेन वी आर् टेकिंग द फुट सो वे वी आर् टेकिंग द फुट और वेन वी आर् टेकिंग द लिक्विड ईटम्स दिस विल गो इन टू ब्लॉक द पैसेज आफ ट्रैकिया वाट ऐपन द फुट विल डायरेक्टेड टूवर्स ईसोफेगस एंड रीचस् टू द स्टम so when we are taking the air means when we are doing the respiration this epiglottis will going to open as a result what the esophagus will going to close hige aagta irutte aga enaitu illi bekidre illu muchute illi beda idre it open aagutte open aadaga enaitu air pass aagutte this is what the importance of our epiglottis guardian of airways one of the cartilaginous plate of the vocal cord modified into this structure okay so that is what our pharynx and larynx is a junction between the pharynx and the trachea next uh, if you take the concept <coughs> the larynx alone the helik bit hoyto Uh, it is uh, with the thyroid cartilage adanna hage bariyudu beda hige bari so larynx in that uh, one structure is there that is adams apple yeah now coming to the larynx sound box ante in the pre, uh, previous explanation i said that it is the vocal cord it is the sound box vocal cord so sound box is made up of nine cartilages plate like structure when the movement of air will be there through that vocal cord the vibration is created that vibration nothing but sound so the pitch of the voice the sound increase or decrease depending upon the movement of the air quantity through that things adu side alli nimge gotelli kashta idu now coming to the larynx thyroid cartilage thyroid gland nimu kelirbodu alva adu gantalalli ide anthe helthi gantalalli ide gantalalli thyroid gland ide thyroid gland alli en nama salt alli iodine kadime idre goiter agutte ना हई स्कूल स्टडी में एलार्जमेंट आफ द थैरॉड ग्लैंड विल बी स्वेलिंग आगे कुछ स्वल दपे थ्रोट इले दपे अल्वा गंटल स्वल दपे सो दैट इस वाट थैरॉड प्रॉब्लम अद सैडल सो थैरॉड कार्टेज अंत दैट रीजियन वित् कार्टेज थैरॉड कार्टेज आंड आन दईदर सैड आफ दिस लैरिंग द थैरॉड ग्लैंड आर दे पारा थैरॉड एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ह्यूमन एंडोक्रेन सिसम बरते ना द आडम्स आप in that uh, uh the larynx the vertical part of the sorry vertical la uh, ventral part yeah ventral part of the larynx is having the cartilaginous structure with the coverage it is called adams apple so illi now hige touch maadi nodidre namige solpa uppida hage kanutu a slight protruded structure in the ventral surface of the larynx and already first thing i am explain maadu helidene this is the dorsal surface 
ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆಂಟ್ರ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಭಾಗ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ವೆಂಟ್ರ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಡಾಸ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೆಂಟ್ರ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಾಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲ್ಯಾರಿನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಬರುವಾಗ ಇನ್ ಹಿಯ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಟ್ರೂಡೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಡಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಟ್ಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾರಿಂಜಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಲ್ಯಾರಿಂಜಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಮಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಡಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅದಾಯಿತು ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಬೈಫರ್ಕೇಶನ್ ಒಂದು ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಫುಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಫುಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೇಗಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಅದು ಬಹಳ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿತ್ ಕವರೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕಿಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯದ ಲೆಂತ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೀಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸೋರ್ ದ ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟನ್ನು ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಸಾಲೋ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯ ಮೇ ಡಿಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೊಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದೇ ನಾವು ಬಿದ್ದುಬಿಡ್ಬೋದು ಕ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳಚಿಕೊಂಡು ಅದು ಕಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಹಾಗೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಂತ ಇಲ್ಲಲ್ವಾ ಇದು ಕಟ್ಟಾದರೆ ಇದು ಹೋದರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಸತ್ತೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಫಸ್ಟಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸಿಲಿಂಡ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಿ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಟಿಲೇಜಿನಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪೈಪ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯಾ ನಾವೀಗ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೋವರ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕಿಯಾ ಲೇಟರ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಂಕೈ
so bronchus bronchi and after this it is the respiratory zone so illi avarge iruvantadu yavudu our conducting zone innu here in the trachea in the bronchi in the pharynx we can observe mucilaginous or mucus secreting cells to trap the dust particle so adella kuda idra olage irutte so passage of the air so till bronchi we can observe that kind of structure in the inner layer in the inner lining that prevent the entry of unwanted dust particle may be microorganism if possible so it is going to be trapped when we are taking the air inner to the our inner to our lungs so this is what total human upper respiratory tract or conducting zone so i will going to stop here we will discuss the next things in the next oncoming class so illi varaga aitu next now lungs ge hogavantadu okay lungs <coughs> so lungs alli enella agutte uh, what are the structures lung structure etc etc that we will study in the next class so illi varaga aitu from here onwards let us study in the next class remember my dear students entire structure of human respiratory system anta kelalla ad instead of that they will going to ask draw a neat labeled diagram of human respiratory system textbook diagram is important my dear students illi solpa adannu colorful aagi kottidare ashte aitha so that is what the structure then uh, explanation what is pharynx which are the three portions of pharynx what is trachea what is wind pipe what is lungs age sub questions baruthe but entire uh, uh, you know explanation of human respiratory system anta kelala the diagram anna kelta okay so thank you my dear students we will continue in the next class thank you